Hey, welcome back. So this is it. It's the end. I guess I I'm, I'm probably won't talk at all, and maybe I might even take myself off the screen for this end, even the fight. I don't know. Well, maybe not the fight. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> probably. Yo.
so I think uh, we're at the end here. I have some stuff to say. I think I'll just save it for the end. I don't even know if I'll keep this in, but. Drinking coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Oh. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but it's not bad. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, Dina. Is she your girlfriend? No. No, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. I have no idea what 
that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to... I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. I like that. I think that's it. Yep. Well, it's kind of cool. I finished the first Last of Us and the second one. I finished it. So let's talk about the ending. I still don't know if I fully understand exactly what they're getting at. I didn't read any reviews or analyses of it, so all these things I'm saying are my own thoughts. I guess you can probably tell because they're kind of stupid. <laughs> um. Well, okay. The thing that um, I've been talking about the whole time I've been playing this game that didn't make sense for me was why didn't Ellie kill Abby, why wouldn't she want to at the end? 
she has her in the water suffocating her then she thinks about Joel <clears throat> and the thing that I didn't realize the first time I played this game is that what she's seeing is this specific cutscene that happens at the end I thought she was just like oh I'm just remembering Joel so now I don't want to kill her that's not exactly true I don't think I think what they're saying is she's remembering this specific conversation at the end and that's why she doesn't kill Abby even if that's true I don't like that I mean what's reminding her of that conversation what's reminding her now while she's suffocating her that didn't remind her all the other times when she was trying to kill Abby. Maybe this time it felt like she was the closest she ever was to killing her, like she knew she was gonna die. So that triggered this thought and then the thought made her say, I don't wanna kill her. So what was the thought? It was a conversation between Joel and Ellie that ends with Ellie saying, I don't think I can ever forgive you, but I want to try. So they're trying to say that Ellie's way of forgiving Joel is by not killing the person that killed him. I don't know. It's, what else could they be saying? That's not super interesting to me. <laughs> um, like, she thinks, oh, what, what would Joel want from me? He, he wouldn't want me to kill her. Well, I mean, wouldn't he? I think he would. I learned all this killing stuff from you, Joel. <laughs> Where do you think I learned it from? But her her way of forgiving him is by not becoming him? It's still not clicking, I don't know. Usually I'm able to find like a way to think, oh, this is why <clears throat> I'm not getting there. Neil Druckmann, he's too smart, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to say. <clears throat> I've said this before, but I might as well say it in the last episode. Like, I think a lot of perception of this game would have been different in my own perception if at the end they would have said, um, there's gonna be a part three, Ellie will return in part three. Just to let us know like, this isn't the end of her story because it doesn't feel like the end. If they explain it more in the third game, that would help. Overall, I do like this game a lot. Not as much as the first one. Just because I think the first one wasn't as complicated story-wise. It was just trying to tell a simple story about a guy loses his daughter and gets a new daughter and he wants to protect her. That's pretty much the whole story. And it's just really well written and interesting and zombies which are fun. So if I had to pick a favorite game I'd have to pick The First Last of Us. Um, the second game I didn't enjoy it as much the story the way it's told I still liked it a lot hopefully you could tell from watching it like I tried to talk about it through the whole time and be like oh this story cool thing is cool and this gameplay thing is cool and maybe this gameplay thing wasn't that interesting, but, or this story thing wasn't that interesting, but the other things are good, and I don't know. I, 
I mean, the ending is kind of the most important part of the story. <laughs> it's supposed to kind of tell you what everything's been about, and I don't exactly know what everything was about. So I can't fully say, oh, this is, first one's my favorite, but the second one's my favorite too. I really hope they make a third one, and I really hope that it's good. I don't know. <laughs> I have to have more to say about this. Hmm. I don't know. Tell me. I know nobody's watching, but tell me. What does it mean? Bruce Straley. The game is about revenge. I said that in the, the last episode. I guess watch that one. I think I explained it a little bit better about the whole story. I don't really want to talk about the whole story right now. I, I did that before, so you can watch those and stuff. Are they trying to say like this whole game that last cutscene is the most important cutscene of anything ever. So, like, are they trying to say this whole game, Ellie's whole journey, has been about forgiving Joel? Everything she's done has been a path to forgiving him. I didn't really get that impression while I was playing it, though, the story. It felt like it was more of just about Ellie's being consumed by revenge and ultimately seeing that she didn't want to go through with it when she kills Mel and she's like, I didn't want, she seemed like she didn't want to do it. She didn't want to kill everybody, like Joel. She didn't want to be Joel. But I can't connect those two things. Like, how is forgiving Joel connected to not becoming like him? How is that connected? I'm one I'm one thought away from liking this game. If I could just answer that question. Ugh, oh, they could just give me like one sentence in the game that's like While Joel's dying, he's like, Ellie, don't be like me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I can't think of anything that connects those two thoughts. That's the thing that would help me. I mean, maybe the game isn't about any of those things, and I just made that all up. But for me, for me to like this game and the ending, I mean, I already liked it, but for, for me to like it as much as the first game, I'd have to connect those two things. Because the game's telling you it's about Ellie forgiving Joel, because that's what she's thinking about when she doesn't kill Abby. So that's super important. Maybe it has something to do with the guitar. Uh, she gets her fingers bitten off by Abby and then she can't play the song. That's interesting. I don't know if there's anything more to that than just like, um, well, maybe, let's think about this. Ellie's connection to Joel after Joel died is the guitar. 
the fact that she can't play it means she kind of loses a connection to him. But the reason she loses the connection is because she loses her fingers. And she loses her fingers because she's want in the moment, <laughs> are you following this? <laughs> she loses her fingers in the moment when she wants to kill Abby, which is in the perspective of forgiveness is a bad moment. So, the game is saying, you kind of, well, well, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. If we're talking about forgiveness, Ellie forgives Abby. Okay, that could work. Um, Ellie forgives Joel by forgiving Abby. Wait a minute, we might be getting somewhere. <laughs> I still don't know what would trigger that thought while she's... Okay, oh wait, wait, I was on to something. Let's go back to it. Ellie forgives Joel through forgiving Abby. This is the first time I've thought of this, so bear with me for a second while I think about it. I don't know. I guess that's it. Like, um, she understands. Ah, it's hard because <laughs> I'm getting kind of mixed up in these metaphors because at the end, Abby isn't Joel. But when Ellie knows Abby, it's because Abby killed Joel. So Ellie views Abby similarly to how she views Joel, like a, a ruthless killer. Um, so if she can forgive Abby, she can forgive Joel. Because Joel's motivation and Abby's motivation are similar. Kind of. Joel's motivation was um, kill anybody who threatens him and his daughter. Um, Abby's motivation was kill the person who killed my dad and kind of ruined my life. Is that, am I on to something? <laughs> I'm at the end of the cutscenes. I'm in the credits. So that might be a connection if I think about it more. Well, let's play it through again. <laughs> With that thought in mind, like, this whole game is about Ellie's journey to forgiveness. How is she going to forgive Joel? And Abby helps to show her how to forgive him by forgiving her for killing him. That could be interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if they really play that. I mean, I would have gotten a hint of that playing the game if there was any, I can't think of any moments that were like about forgiveness and well, I did some mental gymnastics there and <laughs> I think I, made a connection that might make sense. If you're like me, you played this game and the, and the end of the story didn't really click with you, like you didn't get it and you didn't really like it. Maybe you think about that thought, like I just said a little bit more, you might like it. I don't know, well, at least we got somewhere. I think that thought, that thought is uh, something, it's something. They don't want to say anything else about the guitar. 
um, Abby's connection to Joel through the guitar. Yeah, I guess that's it. It's like her connection isn't totally gone. Like she could play still a little bit. And I mean, she could learn to play with her other hand, right? <laughs> um, but it is damaged a little bit. And it's it's damaged because Ellie gave into that revenge when she shouldn't have. If she should have, if she would have forgiven Abby, she would still have the full connection. She'd be able to play the guitar fully. But because she went on this journey and she was trying to kill Abby, she was damaged. Um, and part of that is also that her Dina left with the kid and took everything. So that's, that's part of like her decision to, to revenge was the bad choice. And not forgiving was the bad choice that took things from her but it didn't take everything if she would have killed Abby the game is saying she would have lost more she would have died somehow I don't know I guess it's not saying that but it would have, it's saying like because she didn't kill Abby she only loses a couple fingers and she only loses Dina but she still has herself and Joel and I don't know <laughs> So, that's the game. Did you like it? <laughs> Nobody's watching. This, this playthrough was the... F um, when I first started it, it's like four months ago. I was still on Twitter and people were still watching because people were, were like on Twitter and seeing the tweets and stuff. But now, nobody's watching. And that's good, I guess. I mean, this thing, the whole point of this thing is... It's a personal thing for me. So really shouldn't matter if other people are watching. And now we're testing that theory because nobody is actually watching. When I started this, some people would be watching, but now nobody's watching. Today, I got one view, zero seconds on the video, a place of safety, safety and refuge. Can you see it? I got one view for zero seconds. <laughs> that episode title is because I googled Haven and I just put the definition of Haven in the title because I thought that's funny. This place like Haven, it's called Haven and it's just on fire and there's like people killing each other. And it's, it's, it's Haven. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's a weird way to end the episode, but I don't have anything else to say. So thanks for watching. If you're watching, which you're not, which is okay. But if you are, it's good. But if you're not, it's okay. <laughs> and I'm going to play next. I decided Metroid Prime, if I can find the game. I haven't looked for it yet, but I should have it. That'll be fun. I used to ask people, if anybody's watching, tell me what game to play. I'm going to play the games I want to play. <laughs> I've, there's only certain games I can play, really. And this game was a little bit hard because there were like cutscenes and I had to talk about the game. The best kind of game is like Ocarina of Time. A game which I know kind of like backwards and forwards and I can just kind of do without thinking and then I can focus on my notes and talk um, and just keep talking about stuff. I don't know Metroid Prime very well. I've only played it once when I was a kid but um, I think I can figure it out. Maybe I should do Super Metroid. I don't know. I know that game a little bit better. Anyway, yeah, I guess I hope if you watched any of this, you enjoyed it or my stupid thoughts about the story and stuff. Um, I liked it. I like doing this. I do. 
I don't know. I feel like I should do it at least. It feels good to have done it. Uh, I don't know. This isn't really a burdensome. Like, I'm not like at work thinking, oh, I have to record today. I'm so, I don't want to do it. I don't think that, so that's good. Um, but I enjoyed playing this game and talking through my thoughts. I feel like once in a while I hit on something interesting about the story. And, um, and that's it. So I'll see you tomorrow for Metroid. Thanks.